Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Are you sleeping? What are you doing? Good morning, good morning. Kings and queens, gods and goddesses. Good morning. Good morning, my kings. Good morning, my queens. Good morning, gods and goddesses. Hey. If I never had it is yo. If I never had it is yo. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's topic eh, is fire, fire. Mm -hmm. Today's topic is fire, fire, fire. So, so, share, 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 share. Today's topic is going to be crazy. It's going to be hot. It's going to be mad. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. My sleep is half, half, quarter, quarter. Okay. Okay. I sleep like a cat. Share, 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 share. Today's gonna be hot. I want to talk about some burning questions. Why is that in front? Eh? He has not taken. Nobody has taken it. No, he didn't say that. I bet you should not distract me. Share, 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 share. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. Um, in all my teachings and sexual orientations and sexuality, I have not really gone deeper the way I want to go deeper today. Okay, as usual, I'm busy writing, writing, writing. Done on my household chores and did everything possible not to do this video today. But uh, trust me. When you are told to talk about something, don't talk about it. On a So I did everything possible. In fact, I have washed clothes that I'm not supposed to wash today. That is light though. I use my hand to wash it. I didn't use my washing machine. It's only those who understand who understand what I'm saying. Meanwhile, before I go into my teaching for today, I want to tell you something that happened happened yesterday, day before yesterday. You know. People find it easy to come and ask me for money, ask me for this, for that. Like everything people do for me, I post it on social media. But the one I do for people, I don't post it on social media. So for some time now, since I pack into this compound, um, a lot of people see me driving out, driving in, driving out. You know, when I'm going out and the way, everything. So people have come, I've been coming. Please, my help me for my children's school fees. Help me this and that. My husband this and that. My wife this and that. Many has been coming. And it's beginning to piss my children off. It's beginning to piss my children off so much. And um, there's this particular couple. They're having a house issues, okay? So I tell them I'm going to do something about it. Then um, they keep coming, coming, coming. I've been busy. I've not, my calendar for the year have not come out. I've been busy. I have, I'm traveling next week. From there to another place, I've been busy. So I was coming back, I think, was it two days ago? Okay. I want to go get some things, and uh, I met the husband outside. They are not actually living directly opposite us. As I met the man outside, he greeted me. As I came down from the back, he greeted me. He said, "Ah, I said, nah, I know. I heard people have been coming. So sorry that you're not been able to meet me or something like that because I've been busy with people like there are a lot of people who have uh, um, stroke." stroke and poison issues and everything that I've been going to treat. And then that is why I've not been able to reach across to them. And there's something about me I want you to know, which I asked that question in the past. If I travel down to the East and come back, if I'm doing something, spiritual work, if I'm doing any spiritual work, I will not attend to anybody physically. If you are my friend, I won't visit you. 
until I've gone to the water to, to cleanse myself, until I've done my necessary rituals cleaning. So few of the friends I have now, which are men, they understand me like that, that if I travel and come back, they won't see me for two or three days until I have ritually cleaned myself. So if I'm doing any work, like uh, most part of uh, this first week of this month and uh, late last year, I wasn't able to do a lot of videos because I was working. And when I'm working, I'm not, if I'm not, uh, I don't want to, if my body and my spirit is not ritually clean, there's some things I don't do. So when I was telling the man, I said, why I was not being, thank you. Why I will not have been able to reach them is that I have a lot of work I'm taking care of, both poisoning and uh, stroke. You need to see the way this man ran away from me, shifted so much. I said, hey, okay now. The way he shifted, but he need my money, mommy water money, uh, occultic money. But he doesn't, when I talk about spiritual things, he ran away. I look at him, I laughed. Many are like that. That is why this time I'm very careful of who I help. Okay, I'm careful of who I help. Uh, they like our money, but they don't like what we are doing. They will not tell people how you help them, but they will shift. This man, a married man with family, ran. He said, I'm going to and I will go see. Hey. He was scared, but he wasn't scared of my money. You need to be careful of who you help. Very careful. Make sure your spirits accept you helping that person. Because they are poor. Some of them, their family, they have one sickness or the other inside of their body, and you help them. They said it's because of the money you give to them that the husband was not able to make it. One actually accusing me, accused me of, these people have so uh, a very, very strong family. Uh, yeah, the landlord have already sent them packing. The landlord has already sent them packing. Anna, sexy, please don't talk when I'm talking. What I'm doing here is helping you. I don't owe you help. My teaching, if it's not helping you, then get out. <sighs> so, this man, for me to see a man crying is, is, is scary. And whatever that will make a man share physical tears is scary. I have done that video. I did that video. I helped this man. I gave him my ATM with my daughter. I said, drive my car, go to the bank, take am the amount that will be okay for you to rent the two bedroom flat that will be okay for you and your family. And bring my ATM back. He went and collected the money. Over 200 and something thousand naira. This man didn't tell his wife he rented a house. He said, I told him, you're going to pay me the money back. He said, yes. And before you know, he started telling, uh, the wife called me and said, uh, I'm begging the husband to sleep with me. I'm begging the husband to sleep with me. And uh, that I told the husband not to tell he, her that I'm the one that gave them money, that I want to snatch her husband. Nothing this woman did not say. No cost. This woman didn't cost me. But I want to tell you today that that same woman and her husband and her husband people and her own people have come to beg. They have come to beg me severally with people in my compound. I told them, for, you don't understand something about for forgiveness. You don't understand something about, if I forgive you, my spiritual people will not forgive you. If I forgive you, my spiritual husband will not forgive you. If I forgive you, the land I walk on will never forgive you. If I forgive you, the universe will not forgive you because I don't have anything in my mind. This same man is the one telling some the one in my house, say, what did they do this man? This woman said, women are rushing me. Why should not they rush me? As I'm talking today, to you now, today, this man and his family cannot see to lick him. So be careful when you are helping people. Some people are just nasty. Do not, one of my queen, I'm reading one of, uh, I don't know who said that. I don't know if he says one in minimal, somebody who posted that. He said, I don't know who posted that, but I know it's one of you, my queen. He said, he said when I read that topic, he said, before you help people, check whether you want to stop karma. You don't know who they are flogging because of what they did. You step in to help them. The flogging will now land on you. Before you want to raise up, a, a, a stretch out a, a helping hand to help somebody, ask yourself, are you stopping karma? What did that person do in the past that is working against him or her? Afaman neighbor, he is even mad. You step in. Ask Jesus is carrot. King in the book of the Neze. And Jetimoti. Ebanye, you will not carry. 
A lot of people are going through a lot of pains because of they help somebody. I've done a lot of videos concerning that years back. But most of the teaching I'm teaching this time, I'm going to be repeating some of them later. I've given so many examples of people I went to. I said, you will stop karma. You know what's the one thing that annoys me about you people? You think that you can use sacrifice to stop karma. You think the blood of Jesus can stop karma. You think you being a righteous person, you being an as one, you being an as one, okay, will stop karma. Let us be careful. This is not, what we are here is not a play. It's not a, it's not a joke. We're not joking here. We're not joking. Most of you think we are joking. That is why he said, as and one, have to be humble. A spiritual person have to be humble. That is why you people don't, don't you are going through what you are going, you don't understand. You think this is a joke. We're not here for joke. Okay, Chico Michael is not around. He went to get some things for me. He went to get some things for me. He's not around. As soon as he come, I know he will. He went with his friend. Be careful. Let people call you a bad person. Fine. Be careful. So that you don't go and go and carry somebody's load. You don't help people. That rich men are wicked. They don't help people. No, they are careful of who they help. Makandoha. It's not every dog that is uh, 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 lying flat is hungry. Some are hungry because they have beaten a lot of people. And when you feed them, they will be the men, they will become strong and now chop you and your children. And you say, God, why? I did good to him. Why is he doing me bad? Were you told to do good to him or her? Anyway, that is a topic for another day. But all I'm telling you today is to be careful. To be careful. When you help somebody and they bite you at you, they turn around and bite you, bite you at your anus. They are not good from beginning. This is who they are. This is who they are. Please, get it right. This is who they are. So let's get straight to the point today. Sexual orient orientation in marriages, in homes, in awakening, in, the, in religion, in whatever you call it. So this is part one. I'm just going to talk about social, uh, I'm going to call it sexual orientation in all ramification. And I won't talk about sexual orientation without talking about reincarnation. Without a beginning, there will be no end. Without an end, there will be no beginning. Let me come again. Without a beginning, there will be no end. Without an end, there will be no beginning. Do you understand? Now. Oh. Okay. Okay. Part two. I'm going to show you some uh, illustrations. So let me just talk today. I don't want to stand up to go to my altar and come back again. Because my head is filled up. Okay. <laughs> That's not talking about sexual orientation without talking about reincarnation. And that's not talking about sexual orientation without talking about medical, without talking in medical terms. Okay, so I'm going to term medical terms as in physical. Okay. Why reincarnation is spiritual. Medical terms as in physical. Okay. Now let me start with physical, medical terms. Do not forget what I said. It's only primary six. I know go secondary school. In case you think, 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 say I go school, I no go school. Since I no get. I don't know if to Shabina, if when I go, not only primary six, I go to say I go secondary school, can't go university. I will not say uh -huh. I'm talking what I know, not what I read, because I did not read anything. I'm talking about what I know. Share my video. If you're sharing my video, you will know whether I've been lying since I started this journey. You will know that some of what I'm saying today, I've said it before. I'm not saying that I read it in a book. I'm saying it because I know it. Okay? And because I know it, years later, I saw a lot of doctors explaining it, which confirmed what I know. Now, I'm going to start with physical physical which is medical terms now every child has what is called chromosome that is a male own that's a female own now i don't know the one that is xx xl and xx okay 
I don't know. Who be this one now? Onye de kwanka. Oso na doctor onye. Delete that rubbish, dear man. Who the fuck is doctor? Whatever. Come and interrupt me on my wall and be posting rubbish. Or say, if you doctor, then walk again. Then one and then mad. I don't delete the rubbish comments. Okay. I don't know the 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 gender that has XL and XX. Um, doctors and graduates and medical whatever in the house. Uh -huh. I don't know. Let me repeat myself. I don't know the gender of the child that has XL and XX. Now, so if a girl child in the tummy has excessive chromosome of a man, they're supposed to have been in a man child in her body. When she is giving birth to, when they born and for this world, she will have the traits of a man, behaving more of a man, of a tomboy, much more than a girl that her physical form is. When a boy child have excessive chromosome of a girl child, oh, watching a man named Odogum, I can, um, Okay. Oh, okay. I can't even. I can't even get money. She be now. Now be the family. What get? The only brothers and sisters I have now. Now I don't get any other person. Thank you so much. Now, if a male child, if a male child has excessive chromosome of a girl child in his body. When he's being given back to, as a boy, as a male child, he will behave and have the attribute of a girl. He cooks more than his sisters. He mops the house. He mops the house. He cook. He understands his mother. He does the household chores much, much more than the girl. Well, on the other hand, morning, why on somebody's go and check? I'm busy. Why, on the other hand, the girl child, the girl child will not start behaving, behaving like a boy. She cook it, go born. She can't sweep. Even if she sweep, it's van, van, van. Everything she does. Everything she does can never, ever, ever, ever be okay. Her mother is pissed off. Her father is pissed off. She doesn't know how to behave like her body. Because what's supposed to make her a girl is not enough in her system. What's supposed to make that one a male child, completely male child, is not enough in his system. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, that child, both parties might end up becoming gay, lesbian, or homosexual. Even if the family, the brothers and sisters, manage to beat it out of him, even if you insult him, do everything, at the tail end of his life, or at the middle, or at green, he or she will become lesbian or gay homo. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, deliverance or whatever can do about it. It is he or she didn't inherit it from the mother or the father. It is the way it is. No amount of praying will change his DNA, what is inside of his body. No amount of beating and insulting and slapping and beating will change her for being a lesbian. It is the way it is. Then go to your Bible. 
in that first Peter, second Peter, third Peter, or before first Peter, second Peter, he said, many are made Enoch. Many are made Enoch by men. Many are born Enoch. They use that word Enoch instead of what? Gay. Instead of gay. They use that word Enoch. Some are born Enoch. Some are made Enoch by other men. Go through your Bible. So, no amount of, and there's no gay in my family. I don't know where you learn it from. Go and ask your mother. I don't know where your mother gets pregnant for. I don't know. You are just talking. It is what it is. Then let's go to reincarnation, which is spiritual. I hope you are getting your notes, writing down what you are going to ask me, because you are going to ask me questions. In all my teachings, you should ask me questions. Please, ask me questions. That is your right as a human being. That is what makes you human. Ask questions. Now, on the other hand, which is reincarnation, which is spiritual, a lot of people have come as a woman, as a man, as a woman, as a man, as a woman, as a woman, as a woman. And if you come as a woman right now, you were a man before. The residues are still inside of you. Whether you like it or not, whether you accept it or not, a time comes if you are a woman, you start getting feeling for other women. If you're a man, you start getting feelings for other men. It is happening in the life of your pastors, politicians, men and women every day. But it's just that this part of the world, especially the Igbos, they are, they are trying to, and they have turned a deaf ear, pretending that it doesn't exist. They don't want people to know who they are. But that is who they are. And some people say it's an abomination in Igbo land. Says who? It is happening in Igbo land every goddamn day. Those same people saying it's an abomination, they are doing it every day. A lot of people that I know that you know are women who reincarnated into the body of a man. So they have feeling for other men. And because you don't understand what is going on, you start insulting them. You know, people insult what they don't know. What they don't understand, they give it a name to make themselves feel comfortable because that is exactly who they are. They are scared. And because they don't want people not to know that they are scared, after all, nobody wants to know whether they are scared, they tend to give that person a name to justify what they are feeling inside of themselves. Okay. It is happening in the markets. It is happening among friends. It is happening in the life of middle-aged men. Late 30s, early 30s, early 20s. It is happening. A lot of people who have come around me, there was a time a guy came to see me uh, all the way from uh, Alaba, Alaba, Jangbadi. And I told him, do you know you are your grandmother? He said, yes, ma." I want you to understand the kind of pains and uh, and uh, and uh, confusion this set of people feels, which I was one of them. I am one of them. I want you to understand the feelings that these people feels. Confusion. They are neither men or women. They tend to fit. They try to fit into being a man that they are, but they cannot. They don't have that strength and energy to be like other men, make joke and be rowdy and be everything. No, they don't have it. They don't like to remove their clothes and bait with other men where they are baiting. They don't, they don't have six parts to show it. When they walk, they walk feminine in a feminine way. When they talk, they tend to clap their hand. Hey, hey, now, wow. Hey, now, so it happened. They tend to do all the characteristics and the mannerism. Man, manner, 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 manner of girls do you understand 
They didn't make themselves like that physically. But that is who they are. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? If you don't, like I, like I used to say, when somebody make a post you don't like, you don't understand, girl, go. You don't need to come there and start talking. You don't know, you don't know. You don't need to start that this person dress in a certain manner and you that doesn't dress in a certain manner, you look at yourself that you are better than that person. How are you better? Well, how are you better than them? That this person loves to, to smoke. This person loves to pierce her ears or his ears. And you get angry and said, why would somebody do that? Why would you say something like that? People have decided not to concentrate in their life. People have decided not to mind their business and make something out of, out of their life. But they will be in somebody's world, talking and talking and talking and talking to make themselves happy. I'm busy. Tell them I won't attend. Before I finish what I'm doing. They should come in the afternoon or, or in the evening. I'm busy. I can't even I can't attend to anybody right now. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. It would, it would be like, yeah, eh? They are like that. Because they are like that. And no matter how you try as a woman to get married, at a certain age in your life, you will not have feeling for a man anymore. You will not have feeling for the opposite sex anymore. You won't feel anything for any man, not just your husband or your boyfriend anymore. Because that, that dominant side of you will eventually dominate your physical attributes and begin to manifest as who you used to be and the spirit. That is just way of life. It is in the Bible. Why is it that Christians are speaking against it? The Pope, who is the head of the, of the churches all over the world, have already accepted and said, wed them, let them wed. About five to six years ago, the Anglican Church, which is the Church of England, have already accepted it. Yet yeah, the church, the Anglican Church in Nigeria, said, we, the Anglican communion of Nigeria, we excommunicate and associate with our, our, ourselves with the Anglican. I don't understand. Anglican church simply means Church of England. And your head is the Queen of England. Disassociate yourself with what? Anyway, that is a word to use for the poor masses who don't like to think, who have refused to think. They don't want to think. They have refused to think. A girl... Who is a boy who's not supposed to get married to a man will be forced to get married. And in her marriage, she's confused. She don't know what to do because she has split personalities. One being more dominant than the other. A man who happens to be a girl will be forced to get married as a societal upbringing and a, a, a community upbringing. He will get married. At a certain point in his life, he becomes confused. He don't know what to do with his children because the dominant part of him will over later take over him completely. So he doesn't know what you're talking about. Having sex with a woman becomes torture to him. Some of them might decide to travel abroad, like most of them are doing. They will travel abroad in the in the name of searching for greener pasture, so that they don't have to be dealing with the issue of their wife every time. Some will put their wife in Lagos and live in Abuja in the name of working, so that they can come home once in a pink moon because they know what they are going through. They won't tell their wives because most of these wives will castigate them and call family meeting. And some of these women will become what I call born again fanatics. Born again fanatics. You see them becoming mommy geo. You see them becoming uh, uh, women leader. You see them tying one kind of gale that will be so crazy that with their face eh, like a village headmaster, 
Sergeant Slaughter with their face the way it is, so that when you look at them, you know that anything sex is not in the agenda. It's not in the agenda. You see them preaching the word of God, you think that in heaven, they, them and Jesus have used one spoon to eat. They do all these things to max who they are so that Ilenko, Manko Ilenko, killers, murderers of, yeah, tongue murderers will not get to them. And what do we have? A society that is not sure of itself. A community that, that is not sure of itself. What do we have? We have all kind of shit, all kind of crazy things going around because I'm scared of talking. I'm scared of letting people know who I am. As a one in Esther H. Marina, for many years I was a lesbian. Growing up as a girl, I was a lesbian. Please share my video. I was a lesbian for many years. See, 21 years, I was still a virgin. Though I was later raped. In fact, the people who raped me, shock, say, I'll be virgin. I've done that video before. Shock, catch them. When I told my mother, nobody believed me. I know the kind of pain. For three solid days, I know what I went through. And I know how to, anyway, it's not a good experience. I've already said that in my videos, how I escaped, how I was able to. On the third day, I became a, like a wounded animal. She and I fight, we'll fight them. I did the video. I've done the video. I've done the video. I was a lesbian for many years. Then I became scared. I said, people will say, people will say. Now I talk to some of my cousins, some of my village guys. I say, when you are going out, take, take me out. I want to learn how to drink. I want to learn how to drink. I want, I want to learn how to stay around a man. Now, if you're a vegetarian, if you're a man or a woman, you're a vegetarian. You don't eat meat. You will find out that you don't like staying around people who eat meat because they stink like rotten cops. You'll find out that somebody who eats meat smells like a rotten corpse. So, me staying around a man, they smell like ife le le le, ozu le le le. And I know that, I told myself, if I'm going to survive in this society, I gotta fit in. I gotta do everything to fit in. And I called my brothers, my cousins, those are them and the rest, I said, if I they go out, make them take me out. They said, ah. you see in my village, Today, they say they love me. I vow and swear I was not going to get married. People know me, oh. See, people know me. My life, my life story is not something that is hidden. All I know is that I'm going to make so much money, have one child or two, that's all. I can't find myself living in the same, as in me and man, lie down on the bed. How? They used to mock me even today. When I, anytime I travel down to the village, where we are drinking, they say, nah, you let her marry. Now, wow. Even while I was married, they were still laughing. Most people who came for my bride prize and traditional marriage, they didn't come to eat, they just came to laugh. Because they said, What's your book? As in friends, so male. I have more of male friends than female friends, even now. People came to laugh me. They don't come. Food day, oh. Food day. A lot of food was thrown away. They don't come to say, nah. Ask me what's in a way on my traditional marriage. Nothing. I wear skate and blah. <laughs> Don't, I did not wear any went to market and got material to wear. Mm -mm. I did not do makeup. I wear better slippers on that day. So people came to laugh. My ex-husband people, they don't talk because they know me. I did not make hair. I did not rub eye pencil. I do not rub lipstick. I wear normal house skirt and blouse. I bet I don't know when, if when they hear me. And for Mama Fi sing, we know my not look at my area. So, so <laughs> what I wear po if I say a polo and skirt or one old gown and my slippers, betru slippers. Are you hearing me? I did not wear Abala Anyam or Abada or say my mama borrowed me clothes. No. 
My mother was saying, this one is a disgrace, so eh, your father will be crying in the grave. Eh, they're supposed to put canopy. Why are you disgracing your father? I say, this one why I agree, make on a manager. Manage this one. It's opposed, it's, it's this happening that my own mother didn't know who I am, but my uncles, my their wives, they know me. Nobody talk. Nobody say, yeah, chiga, you need aqua. Which clothes? All the way from Lagos. If I won't buy clothes, why not buy for Lagos? I know buy shing buying. There is my mother this N A, but here your mother say, I told the man, oh boy, yeah. my ex husband told him, I'm going back to Lagos, so you can do my mother's uh, whatever traditional magic, whatever you think you are doing. When you finish, come and meet me in Lagos. I don't go back. Nobody talk, nobody cough. My uncles, you know, my father died early. My uncles did not say anything. Please, my uncles, their own is that let all the necessary right be done. My father is dead in my village. When your father is dead, I give up you. That is how we do it. Everything that is being done is done on my head. I was wearing my beton slippers, polo and skirts. My brothers and sisters, they are alive. My mother is alive. They will tell you. Nobody cough. Because they don't know what they will say. They will trigger me off. I even pity the man who came to marry me because his brother from Anambra said like, came chap say, I'm going back to Lagos. If you won't do, make una do. When I do finish, make una come meet me for Lagos. Give me water. Make una come meet me for Lagos. I don't go. That is how bad it was. Not that there was no money. There was. There was money. There was money. Make man, they tell you, say, I beg, oh yeah, let's come musician. At least let your father's house be hot. I say, burn and fire, it go hot. Gather firewood on it, it go hot. You can't go to my house and see any, any ma uh, uh, traditional marriage, whatever. My ex-husband was beating my mother. She was going about crying, calling my, 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 calling her dead husband's name. Calling my uncles to convince me which cannot be for who? And how about like cannot be? Make on enjoy on herself. I'm going back to Lagos, and when on I finish, make on I come. Because I needed to fit in into society. I needed to fit in into community upbringing. I needed to fit in into Christendom, but I wasn't happy. That is why I can never insult my ex-husband because I pity the man. Seriously. In all the years of marriage, I don't think me and that man, in that 24 and a half years of marriage, I don't think me and that man don't kiss like five times. I never even sure say it three times. Seriously. I they pity him. I cannot insult him because he loves me very well. But I don't. He knows. He accepted like that. But at the pity. At the pity. I keep praying this man will see somebody who will love him because he's not inside of me. I cannot find it. We never lie down on the same bed. Sometimes I wonder what, what is going on into this man's head. How is he feeling? How can a man live like that? He's not an old man, no. He's not an old man. <laughs> Sexual orientation. I recognize and respect Charlie Boy, Oputa. King of the boys, king of the ghetto. I recognize him and I respect him. When his daughter came out to him and said, Dad, I am this, I am that. And that is a girl that looked exactly like him. The daughter, that is what she is today. Campaigning and working for the LGBT community. I find out that people who talk against people more, against people more, are the ones that have, they are damaged inside.
They don't have the courage you have to talk about it. They don't have the courage you have to own up to your sexual orientation. Your pastor preaches against it, but your pastors are doing it. I can't forget one of the one of the men. He's a, a Sabbatarian. He's a high priest. He's a, he does a, all kind of tradition and culture stuff. Then a, one day, something happened. A pastor, well known here in Lagos, was being dragged, both in the courts, in the press, that he, he slept with uh, his choristers, choir members, men. So the young man, I don't know, it's like he thought, I don't, something happened. Something terrible. So they took him to court. He came to this man and begged the man to help him and silence the case. He paid money. He paid millions. And this man helped him to silence the case. This man has his own Sabbath. Very big. He helped him to silence the case. So on that day, the man came to give him Thanksgiving. I was in the house. He bought a car for the man. So he told the man, nah, as a pastor, be careful so that this kind of scandal, you will not be... He came with a young boy, fresh. He said, you, you have to be careful, this kind of case, so that you don't, uh, you don't uh, put yourself into it again, so that uh, people will not laugh at you. Do you know what happened? <laughs> oh yeah, go buy yam now. Go buy yam. Okay, you went to buy yam. Hey, yeah, it's not been long. We started. So the pastor, who is a general overseer, who happen, who, who happens to have one of the biggest churches in Lagos, told him that ah, nah, I've, I've, I've not, I've, I know I made a mistake, but that's why I see this is my baby boy. I do it. It does. I don't know why I did mistake with that boy. This man actually asked him, "Are you telling me that you are a gay?" But you are married. See, of course, everybody's doing it. And this man was shocked. How did he, a high priest that owns his own church, Sabbatarian, how is it that he was not able to see that this pastor is a gay, sleeping with all the small, small boys in the church? I'm talking to you who carry your daughters and your sons and put in the, in the, in the hand of a pastor. After all, he's a pastor. Go there, let my pastor and his wife teach you. They have desecrated your, your, your son's anus. And you don't believe your sons and your daughters because mama and the Lord cannot do that. Yes. Many politicians' wives are lesbians. You see, whether you talk about it or you don't talk about it, it is happening. Just, it's happening. Whether you want to own up to it or not, it's happening. You see, knowing you who you are, talking about who you are, taking the step of who you are, it's freedom. A lot of women have been talking to me and I look at them, I laugh. A lot of people who, in their own way, who try to toast me, you know, I've been saying in my video, if you're a woman, you want to come to me, shoot your shot or shot your shoot. Who knows? I might fall. But one thing that is annoying me is that I have the feeling for women, but I've not done anything with any woman for over, over, two, three decades now. You know why? You cannot see a woman who has only one boyfriend. They have their husband. They have 50 million boyfriends out there and they still want you as a woman. They are confused. Because Mua, that where's the one in less than H.E. Marina? Me. There's the one in less than H.E. Marina. I don't double date. If you're a man I'm dating, you have another boy girlfriend. I will not do anything with you because I don't know so I don't know so much. And if you are a woman, a girl, like most as and one who have been in my house, have tried their possible means coming into my room, showing me all kind of nakedness. I don't talk to them. You know why I don't talk to them? It's hardly you see somebody in Nigeria who is faithful to their partner. As the one in many mama is you. Hardly you see a woman who is faithful to her boyfriend or her. Or her, or her husband. Everybody is out to get everybody. Everybody wants to make money at all costs. Everybody is sleeping with everybody. I don't pollute myself like that. Yes, women find me more attractive than men. 
If you're around me, if you know me very well, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't go out of my way to do anything with any girl, any woman, because majority of them have up to 50 million sexual partners. Each of these sexual partners leaving a residue of who they have slept with to them. Leaving a residue of who they are doing and who they are not doing into their body. So for now, I'm enjoying my spiritual husband. That is the one I'm enjoying. At least he cannot give me venereal disease. He cannot give me ocho. He cannot give me bad luck. Being faithful now in this country is, in this world, is, has become impossible, unattainable. Because you don't understand your sexual orientation. That is why you have a husband and be sleeping around. You have a boyfriend and be sleeping around. You have a, 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 a sexual a, 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 a partner, a couple, and you are admiring another person outside. That means that something is wrong with your medulla oblongata. Something is wrong with you upstairs. If something is not wrong with you upstairs, you will concentrate on your on your couple and not envy another person. For crying out loud, if you like guys that have six parts, please go there. Six parts cannot have six cars. Six parts cannot have six houses. Six parts cannot have 60 million or 60 million or 60 billion. If you want money, get for pot belly. Pot belly, we, we have money. Pot belly have cars. Pot belly will take you out. Pot belly cannot satisfy you sexually. So why are you collecting money from pot belly as, and also dating cispat? You have mental problem. You have mental problem. Thank you so very much, my queen from Gabon. Bonjour, bienvenue. Everybody's confused. And because the confusion keeps eating deep down inside some of us, it turns to something else. Hatred. Unhappiness. And because that person is not because that person is unhappy, they will not project that unhappiness into your life. They will project the unhappiness into everything they see. They project the unhappiness into everybody. Nobody offended them or nobody insulted them. They are the one that accepted their own they, they, that maxed and cover up their sexual orientation. A lot of people are, are on Bob Risky's uh, page. Um, a lot of people are on James Brown's page. Two years ago, they said they are cursing them. Unfriend them, you will not unfriend them. You are calling them wasted spam. Repent, Jesus is coming soon. You will die in hellfire. Wasted spam. But you are still there every day, commenting. Bonjour. Merci. You are sitting there every day, commenting, messing up your brain more and more because you admire them. You love them for being bold. It is in your Christianity. It's inside of your church. Your mommy in the Lord is busy licking vagina of young girls. You know why so many people don't want to say that they are gay? Is because they don't want to keep one part down. They want to be sleeping around, sleeping around, and, and letting lo telling those little girls, don't let anybody know. You know, your mommy special pets. You know, your um, mommy loves you so much. If they let the world know who they are, it means they will just choose to sleep with one person instead of jumping and jumping. There's something I want to tell you about LGBT. Majority of gay people are flat. They don't like one partner. They jump from one partner to the other. They are more unfaithful than the streets. They don't want people to know that that is what they do. They have 50 million boyfriends. If you see somebody who is a gay, when I'm saying gay, I mean lesbian. I mean homosexual. And also mean bisexual. There are men and women who love men and women. They do men, they do women. I want you to know that it's not wrong. It's not a sin. It is not a sin. <laughs> Some time ago, the, the theologians and a lot of Bible scholars, the whites, they said, 
why Jesus Christ have only male male um, disciples is because it's a gay thing. But Africans, eh, hey, because women will say I don't have a hair tie. Women will say I don't have a head. Women will say I don't do this. Women will say I don't do this. Lying to themselves. You don't, you claim to be awoke, yet you don't know what I'm talking about. You claim to be into tradition and culture. You are a spiritualist. You are a one. Yet you don't know what I'm talking about. How is it that you don't know what I'm talking about? Or are you just taking what somebody posts on social media and go and do your own teaching? Is it not about killing goat and cow? You have not even scratched a wick. What you are just scratching is what you, you eat with. Eat, what you eat with. What you are just scratching is what will feed you and your family. That's all. That's all. How can, can you claim to be a Christian yet you don't read that part of the Bible that I just talked about right now? How? Do you know why kings and queens, great men of old, usually put Enoch, that is gay, men gay, as their, as the people who take care of their haram, that is their women. Do you know why great men and women hire bodyguard, male gay bodyguard for their daughters, their sons, then for their daughters and their wives? It's because that young man is a girl. Your wife is a girl. Do you understand? She will not have feeling. The 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 male the male gay will not have feeling for your wife because he has a boyfriend. Don't you know that in the military, in the military, in the security of as security details, that is where you find gays. Don't you know? And some people say, No, my pastor, my dad in the Lord does not do that. How did you know he doesn't do that? What do you know about him? Have you gone to his house? Are you his friend? I've been opportune to meet a lot of politicians. So that physical aspect, I know what I'm talking about. How is it that you don't know your own daughter in the house is a lesbian? How is it that you don't know? Or are you pretending? She doesn't love makeup. She tends to dress like a man. I'm not saying every girl that dresses like a man is a lesbian. But if it's, she's not a lesbian now, she's going to be later. How is it that you don't know? There are a lot of lesbians who do a lot of makeup. They love makeup. Oh my God. And you forget in the in the in the in the body in the body of lesbians that are male that are female, in homosexuals that are male that are female. How is it that you emulate black whites, the Western world? You love everything they are doing. Yet this particular one, you hid it. Majority of our guys who travel abroad that marries you as a wife, they are gay. All you know is that you, you have a, a loving, caring husband. What do you know about your husband? You just open your leg, your husband sleep with you. Have you caressed him and caress and go through his anus and touch it? No, because your husband, you don't even know any part of his body. You don't know what his body is. You don't even understand him. How will you understand your husband or your wife when you don't know yourselves? We cannot talk about awakening without talking about sexual orientation. If you don't talk about it today, I want to assure you in a year or two, crazy people are waking up. They are going to talk about it. And you will say, I, I, I want, it's true. I wanted to talk about it. Whether you like it or you don't like it, whether you accept it or not, it is happening. A lot of you have reincarnated as a woman. You have given your message, nobody heard it. You have talked, you have tried to do this work, it's not working. And when you die, you reincarnate. As a man. When I did this video, I was happy a year ago, one of our awakening brother, a king, 
granted uh, a, a BBC Ibo granted him interview and he was able to say that he reincarnated as his father's concubine and now he's a man as a one my queen my queen money is you when they don't suck their husband's penis how can they lick the anus they don't know that there is sweetness in in anus they don't know but they are eating the money their husband is in abroad my wife is in abroad sending to them they don't i don't understand what is it with us africans not just africans what is it with us Igbos? I didn't mean an Igbo. but you have superstars who 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 are your role models you have musicians comedians who are your role models they are what I said, what I'm talking about now. Is it that you people refuse to look deep or you just like surface? Is it that you just love the surface? You don't want to know what make my finger stand. You don't want to see the bone. All you are seeing in my finger is the flesh. Is it that you people are just deaf, stupid, deaf and dumb? Or you made yourself like that? Or I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. What is it all about? Is it that you just married a man, you don't know Aji? A man should not shave his Aji, pata pata. It's good to look at it and be using it to plate hair. You understand? And look at every hairs. You know, Aji na no enuamo is, the color is something else. It's, it's like, it's like grass growing in a fertile land. They can have manu. Eh? They can feel my new. Now, is it that they don't look at the middle of the leg of their husband and their wife? No, they don't even like. Some of you don't even like your husband to give you head or your boyfriend. You don't like it because to you it's like, what is he doing? And some say, oh, I don't know, but it's an abomination. We don't do it. <laughs> Me, mother, it's a video I sent to you. I don't know if you have seen it on WhatsApp or Messenger. I'll show you some people videos that were sent to me about Ndidi Bia licking a woman's vagina in their altar. It's not a movie. These native doctors will give you what your husband has not been able to give you. And see, give somebody camera to climb up or to stay somewhere and video you so that they will blackmail you. What is it now? What is going on? What is what is wrong with us? Eh? You don't want to talk so that people will not go laugh at you. You don't want to own up to your truth so that they will not go say. I beg, share my video. Let them say, share it. Please, share it. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to share it on um, YouTube. What is going on? Do you know that a lot of girls, a lot of women, love girls that dress as men? It touches them at the bottomless pit of their ibu. Yes. Last, I didn't say evil forest, Biko. I not talk evil forest. You don't start go eat your yam, I beg. Go eat your yam. I did not say. <laughs> I did not say evil forest, Biko. Please, I'm begging you the mighty name of that yam that you bought now. I never said anything about evil forest. Do you know that every woman, I'm not saying some women, every woman love a girl, like love a tomboy, love a girl who dress like a man. Every woman. I did not say some women. Every woman. I'm not saying you won't spoil. You want to, okay. Me, I'm not saying to her more. I don't want watching a man make she spoil. She's still a virgin. See her face. <laughs> <laughs> what face is that? Is it a crying face or a closing eye face? I beg. All these emojis, I know the two explain them well. So start asking me your questions right now. Start asking me your questions. Start asking me your questions. No send and give her <laughs> She's still a virgin. Okay, what better one I want now? Hold on, hold Ask me your questions, I beg. Sometimes they talk, you be like, say, no, let me they talk. But if you know, say, if you ask me a question, your village people go see and come this one, you know, ask, I beg. Ask me a question, Indian Piana. 
Now they only realize that they enjoy. Ask me question. Please share my video. There are some people that need to need to see my video. If they never talk about me, their blood is short. Thank you. No send a give amo na virgin. We know what makes she spoil. <laughs> Agbazo. He said, "What is the easiest way to know a gay?" I want you to know that it is very hard to know who is a gay. It is very hard. Unless you are one. It is very hard to detect it earlier. Because of society. Because of uh, uh, community and religion. It is very hard. Because we tend to blend into society. We blend. We watch. We don't talk about it. We laugh the most. We play the most. We joke the most. So, most times, even all, if, in fact, it is hard to detect at early stage. Most times, your, your partner, your wife or your husband is a gay. You don't know. You will never know. That is just it. Unless they are unfortunate to date one unfortunate human being. Who will now start gossiping and say, do you know, do you know, do you know? Do you know, do you know, do you know? Okay, it's hard to detect if you're not one. Okay? In the process of reincarnation, I'm watching a man, he said, in the process of reincarnation, knowing that they were, they were threats, they can make one turn gay. What is the possibility of such person stopping it if he or she wants? Look, you cannot stop it if you want because it is a spiritual process. That is why I ask some of you to buy my ring, my handout on reincarnation. You choose this life. I've been saying that. You choose this body. You are the one that chooses this body. You are the one that chooses this life. You choose to reincarnate as a man or as a woman. I want you to know that when if you have asked me a question i didn't answer you please come back what about those who have been sexually abused by men at their teenage age who now decide to to swore off men and now date girls there are people like that that is why i said some are made enoch by men some are born enoch that is why i use that word some people willingly become gay some are gay some because of what they went through now otako i wanted to know something i said you choose this life you choose who become your mother i'm talking to spiritual giants here kings and queens gods and goddesses you choose who you became if you ask me question no if you if you ask me a question i didn't answer you please come back and ask me again you cannot stop thinking in the time of human this is a sack of meat this sack of meat cannot change matter that is spirit spirit has no substance spirit has no substance so this bag of meat cannot change what you did what you decree in the past doing all no mealy being an as one being a pastor Sacrificing whatever you need to sacrifice. Fasting and praying cannot change it. It is you who choose it. You choose it for the reasons best known to you. Get my handout on reincarnation and spirit spiritual so that you understand what I'm talking about. Some people said, I'm no longer interested. I want to settle my spiritual husband, let them go away. And you will go to somebody who will tell you the language you want to hear and say, bring this, bring that, let me go and settle. And they'll settle, they say, go, it's done. Are you people okay? Is something wrong with you? Thank you. Homosexual is not just in the life of a human being. It's all around. Some people eventually evolve. And some sleep with their daughters, some with their sons. This is the way it is. It is human beings who say, this is wrong, this is wrong. When you do this, you'll go to hell fire. When you do this, you'll go to hell fire. I don't get it. Who keep those rules and regulations? Men put rules and regulations. 
against themselves for themselves to suffer themselves. Who kept it? Who put those rules and regulation? Who put it? Men, so that they can subject other men and women. They will tell you it's from the devil, it's from the pit of hell. And I ask them, how? How can a baby inside the womb, devil, enter there to do what? When a woman is pregnant, at, at the beginning, we all, as little growing up babies inside, we are like aliens. I they call it, see? This big head, uh, black, uh, uh, something that look like fish in the, in the gutter. Dirty water. Big head and just stay doing like this. That is how we look like. Whether male or female, it is as a child in the stomach is growing that he or she evolves to either male or female. As a child inside the stomach, that child does not automatically become a man or a woman. No. Thank you. Thank you. Until we start thinking critically, this awakening is not awake. I want you to know that this is not the first time people are awakening. Our forefathers that is awoke. For food, far, far, far. Oh, what I'm saying, I don't want you to hear any go. This awakening is not in this present time or 100 years ago. It has been here. Tadpole, my queen. Hell, or you can make when you get publicity secretary. On your now, get here now. On your now, spokesman. How or dogum? Tadpole. That is what we are inside stomach. There is no gender there. At the beginning of our life, we are genderless. That is when you from different planets can run into any stomach and facing your own gender that you want to come here. It is at that time, that stage of that pole. My queen, watching a man, you people should start teaching. You. Only me cannot carry this. You people should start talking. Don't tell people what they want to hear. Tell them the truth. Stop petting them, telling them get what agenda is enemy. Stop it, so that you can't come back into this world now. Tomorrow now you die, and when you get old, you die and reincarnate as a man, and you start messing your head up. You people should start telling them the truth. That's why you mean my man is you. Imagine a mother telling her that if a man touch you, become pregnant. So don't let any man touch you. In the village, if they walk out, they walk out inside the bush. Men, boys, go they walk out like this for road. We, I now pick up on one so that if a man body touch you, become pregnant. And when the man body touch us, we will not become pregnant. We will not find out that our mother is a lie. And tomorrow we will start fucking anyhow. La, I la, 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 Because they themselves, they are shame of talking to us. Today, doctors will ask their mother a question. They say, hey, tap me, chono, Lord of Jesus. Who told you? Who teach you? I don't know why you're following those friends. They are spoiling you. And tomorrow, somebody else, some mother, will teach your children what you refuse to teach them. And when that person teach them outside, whether good or bad, they will believe it. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to tell your sons that when a girl child is growing, as she's coming into puberty, her hip will widen. Her hip we will widen. As her breast is coming up on them, her hip will widen. Why as your, your, your boy, as they're entering puberty, their shoulders will broaden. Their waist will become, will become this. Their waist will become tinier. Why their shoulder broaden? Their voice. Sometimes those days, if my children are talking, I'll say, is anybody in this house? Did your friends come? They say no. Is them talking? You will hear, God, I'm telling you, you know they hear me. As I'm talking now, you think I'm playing. They are talking fear. They catch me. Say, when that man enter my house. 
and I'm touch, I'm teaching, I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm researching, I'm googling, so that I will know how to know that boys there is something when I tell them to do something, they, I want them to do it at my own time. I want to don't do it at my own time. I used to think they are insulting me until I find out that they will do it. Don't stress them. Just tell them what they will do. They will do it. When you force them to do what you want to do, it went from one year to eight years. From 10 years, they will do what they will like. And there's an age they get to from that 10 years to 13, 14 years. They brush once in a year. They wash their bosses once in a year. To, to wash, to, to bet, I will shout. And today, now, my boys, they bet like three times in a day, wash their clothes. It is that time. If it's a girl at that time, either she run out of the house or she become pregnant or she, or love or on the street. Because that is what I call madness age. The hormone is success. They start behaving anyhow. And you said, you take them to, you said, I disown you, you child, you want to bring me shame. Hey, but, 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 but. And I call rubbish. In a rubbish. Because you don't know. How will you teach them what you don't know? I don't even try to know. You command them from the day they were born. And when they get married, you command them and tell them you don't marry this guy. I don't like her. Mama, why don't you like my wife? I don't like her. I don't know. There's something about me that I don't like her. Why? <sighs> something happened some time ago. A family... A, a fourth generation of a daughter, the fourth generation, a daughter. This lady, anytime she wants to cook her Christmas turkeys and everything, I read that in somewhere. Anytime she wants to cook her Chris, uh, Christmas turkey, she will cut off. She will cut off the head, the leg, not the lap or the leg. Cut off the head, cut off some parts and season it and put it in the oven. This thing keep happening. So now to this fourth generation. Somebody asked her, why are you always cutting off this, cutting off this, cutting off this, doing this? She said, that is how my mother used to do. They asked her mother, she said, that is how my own mother used to do. They asked that one mother, he said, that is how my mother used to do. Then the last, the, 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 the great, great grandmother that is alive, when they asked her, I said, because those days, my grandmother told me that oven has not come out, it's just small pots that she used to do it. There's no oven. What she used to bake it is very small. So she's cutting off those things so that they can fit in to do what? To bake it. Not fry. No way we fry. To bake it. So now this generation keep doing what they see their mother doing without knowing. Even though the gas cooker now, oven is so much bigger. Oven is bigger. That four turkey can enter there. They see persistent in doing that because that is what they saw their mother doing. It was that one now that said, my grandmother, because what she used to bake is very small, is very small. So she has to cut off those things so that it can fit in. And today people are doing that and they turn it into tradition and culture. That is not a tradition and culture. I've explained things about tradition and culture time and time and time again in a lot of my videos. So I will keep sharing my memories so that you, if you like, you can watch it and hear my teachings in the past. For those of you just following me. It is a pity. Like, seriously. You saw your mother doing this. You do it. Because nobody is an as one in your family. You make sure your sister or your daughter who is an as one or your, or your wife or your or who is an as one, you make sure you suffer them because you don't see anybody doing it. And if they are doing it, it must be a taboo. The concept of Agbazo, you said the concept of reincarnation is very complicated. Sometimes I find it hard to grasp because I do not have personal experience. My question is, if we have chosen, if we have chosen this life for ourselves, why then do we hate the suffering we go through? The only way, my answer to you is that, like I said, read, research. My answer to you is this. You don't want to know who you are. If you want to know who you are, you will isolate yourself from everything physical and create time for your quietness, for your alone, for your time alone, to fast, not to pray, to fast, and to ask questions. 
of your spiritual guards who are surrounding you. To ask the water, land, and the sea, to ask earth, to ask air, to add fire, they will answer you. It's just that most of you feel that your 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 answers or your 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 your, your the question you're asking or your help or uh, the way of escape is in this land of physical. A woman who has a lot of issues in the past will reincarnate if she wants to reincarnate as a woman and vow not to get married and vow not to have children so that she will not be distracted and do her work and go back. And when she comes here, the urge to, to get married will be so much on her. The urge to get married and have children will be so much that loneliness will almost kill her. The loneliness will so much, it will become as a hunger because these are punishments. Of her not doing that work in the past. She is the one that chose to live this life. She is the one that chose to go through these pains and shame and ridicule. So that she can walk. So that she can touch lives. Likewise a man. A man who reincarnated. Who was a wealthy man. A king in the past. Her power. His power got to his head. He, he didn't fight for the voiceless he refused to become the voice of the voiceless he be he refused to help the poor the widow he refused to help those who have been marginalized who have been who has been who has been beaten and downtrodden and when he dies please get my hand out very soon i'll stop teaching on social media bata bata i will stop teaching I'll just be telling you my book that I've come out. Tell you one or two things that I said because here I'm not here on Facebook. I'm not getting any encouragement. I get more encouragement on YouTube. I'm not getting encouragement here. I'm just praying to just last for this year on social, on Facebook. I'm just praying that I will last this year on Facebook. After that, I'll deactivate my account. After this year, I'm going to de deactivate my account on Facebook. But I'm praying because me, I changed my mind anyhow. I will deactivate my account and get out of Facebook. Mm -hmm. I'll just concentrate on YouTube and, and, uh, and Instagram. I'm not getting encouragement here. I am not. Financially, I'm not getting encouragement from all of you. Materially, I'm not getting encouragement from all of you. So soon I'm going to go off. Buy my hand out and read instead of questioning me, asking me questions like this. So that you read it and dissect what I'm saying. If you have asked me a question, I, I didn't answer you. Please, you are going to ask me again. So that's what I'm still answering you. You choose this life. You don't need to like the suffering. But if you want to understand why you choose this life, please, please create time to fast. Create three times in a week to fast, not to pray, to switch off your phone, switch off from this world and tune in so that you understand what is happening. It's as simple as that. No man will teach you who you are through, through consultation. No man will teach you who you are through prophecy because you choose this life. Pray, oh God, help me. This suffering is so much. You're wasting your time. You choose it. You can get soft copy of my handouts. I can send it through your email. I'm so sorry, those who paid money, oh, please, please, my queens, I beg. Hey, I'm going to send it to you today. You can get it through soft copy. If I'm doing it through DHL, you are going to pay. You are going to pay for for the for Webby. <laughs> You can get soft copy through your email account. It's not making sense. So you people are just, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'll keep repeating myself, teaching the same thing all over again. If you have asked me a question, I didn't answer it. Please, can you come back? If you have money to pay for the DHL, I'll send it to the, if not, I'll send it through your email. Please ask me questions. Okay. If you ask me something I didn't answer, please come back and ask me that question. Okay, then chat me on Messenger, okay? Please, you don't need my WhatsApp number. I do not answer call. 
go to messenger and drop me a message. If there's something you want to tell me, go to messenger. You don't need my WhatsApp number. You don't need it for anything. Very soon this year, I'm going to go off Facebook. But I'm praying let it last this year, December. I'm praying let it last in December. I'm going to go offline. Concentrate on my YouTube. I'm happy my account on YouTube has been verified. I'll just be teaching on TikTok and, and Instagram. Please ask me your questions, please. Ask me your questions. Later, not today, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a video of part two of the powers of being a gay. The powers inside of it. I will teach you not today. So this is part one. <laughs> Share my video. Let me see whether people who are trolling with me, with me will make me go viral. Share my video. Follow me on YouTube. Esther Hechi Marina. Follow me on YouTube. Esther Hechi Marina. Follow me on YouTube. One day when I go wake up one morning, I don't jack bar. I feel no read this here. Because uh, I'm not seeing anything here. <laughs> Follow me on YouTube. Esther Hechi Marina. Follow me on TikTok. Let's start here, Marina. Those ones too, they give me joy. <laughs> you say you gonna follow me like this? <laughs> I don't dare <know> you. <laughs> Please, your questions, your question, I beg. Share my video, I beg. Some people are waiting for it so that their blood can flow, please. They're waiting for it. Oh. You know one thing about me, when I teach, they call me fake. Two years later, they start teaching it. So I'm watching some of them, I'm, I'm kind of like laughing. I'm laughing. I'm the catalyst. I'm the pace setter. <sighs> If you have asked me a question before, Biko, Biko, come back, ask me again. <laughs> ask me again. I'm going to forget if I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. They don't keep quiet. Did you ask me something before and I didn't answer you? Please come back or oh, ask me. Oh. Or if you feel that I didn't answer you your question correctly, ask me again. If I didn't answer it again, ask me again. Mm -hmm. That is life. Ask him, ask him. On a pota na la piti. O me wokan gozo no no ken kumi. Otinewo aboto nonumta abu otuto alleluia. Leave her, leave them. On the piano, my queen. I bond in piano. I know they answer anybody. You. Now mind them. They don't want people to say. I hear the better than you see ota. What will people say? Ne na wa wa see your comment for that stupid woman post. Na wa also na go dey there they listen to that jago. But how much have I done? Hey, please, ma, in one of your videos, there is something you say, say. I don't know what you're talking about. Many of you know that I don't answer question in boss. Messenger, I need the answer. What will people say? But you go secretly go, they admire somebody. They've already exceeded and superseded what will people say. You secretly admire them. Now, wow. Hey. You, they go for, you go for wedding, you like to snap their picture with them. 
Ome woka nguzo nono kenkume. Oti nye wo. Aboto nono mta. Okwe siro tuto. Alleluia. Ona put. Be there in a silence. Oba sarono. I am doing my own. Oba sarono. Ona puta wom na la piti. Ome woka nguzo nono kenkume. I told you, I said this year, me and Una. Oh, God, yeah, you go shelle. You go shelle for me and Una this year. Oh, you say it, your woman. Yes, they call them superstars. Oh, my God. I love that lady. She can sing. Oh, my God. Oh, she's so beautiful. Hypocritical people. It's wrong. Abomination in Igbo land. But sleeping with people that came to came for you to work for them is not an abomination. The so young girl's life in Alibo. Promise to marry them and you don't marry them. That one is not an abomination, Abby. Telling a girl to wait for you when you travel abroad, you are coming to marry her and you marry another person. She be that one not be abomination. Sleeping with your best friend's wife. Sleeping with your best friend's husband. That one not be abomination. When I never see something. Minima, why are you wicked? Why is it you and last? You people are wicked. Why don't you just go and do it without mentioning what you want to go and do? Now my mouth is what? Why are you wicked? What kind of abomination is this now? Why are you mentioning what you are going to do? Hey. 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 Why are you wicked? Why, why are you people dangerous and wicked like this? Why can't you just go without mentioning that you want to go and do something? Now you have mentioned it now, my mouth now. Why are you, why are you dangerous? Hi. Hi. Hey. <sighs> I go shut your bed there morning use and go do my own smoothie. Make a nurse you go take sweet you for body. If you do me, I do you man no go verse. Impregnating your young girls in the village, giving them money to go and do abortion. Denying them. Is that not an abomination? Or oh, it's only been a gay that is an abomination in an evil. Collecting properties from a widow, your brother's widow, you collected all that, all that she will need to take care of her children. Is that one not an abomination in an evil? Ndar and dar everywhere, man, man, people everywhere. I better share my video, maybe they see them. Cost me if they won't cost me, no consign me. Troll me if they won't troll me, no kukuma consign me. A kukuma no get sense. Let them scatter my name, oh, and no kukuma care. I know Kukuma get shame. Oh, me wakam gozo no no ken kume. O tinye wo aboto no no mta. Abu o tuto alleluia. Oh, na puta wom na la. Please ask me your question. Oh. Don't send to Ramo. No, I never even trust you. Go soon send me. I never even trust you. <laughs> ah, is he calling you? <laughs> He's just a growing boy. Don't send to him. May you no go spoil. So the smoothie, what I talk about now, you don't go to jam another person matter and go to talk with him no concern you now. Please, last. This is a gathering of Ndiaz and one. You don't go and watch something that you will, will not make your eye be okay. <laughs> oh, no, 
Try to understand who you are oh, before you can go the bomb picking where you don't know. Don't know yourself. Okay, no, you pretend not to know yourself. You are plastered that side of it. You don't want to talk about it. You paint it and plaster it. You don't want to go there. Oh, me welcome go so no no can come oh tin ye wo abo tan na nam ta abo otuto hallelujah ah he's calling i thought he said he want to go and cook his yam hey thank you thank you i thought he want to go and cook yam why, why why is he calling you hey this boy have spoil Yes, boy. Hey. On a put a woman, please. Ask me your question now. Ask me your question. All the shame, shame, with the shame. Sorry, now be your name. Keep shaming. Shame on, shame on, shame on. <laughs> Want to look like A? Are you A? What is that? But I'll bat. I'll bat. Maybe you don't want to talk about that smoothies now. You're still talking about teaching scattering tape. That's the one I need minimum. You are wicked though. Oh, damn. Don't worry, I go do you. Share them all. Share them all. Some people want it Oh, They are looking for something where they'll take make me go viral. I want to go viral. Share them. Share them. Share them. Be cool. The way I'm going viral now, they shock me. I want to go more than that. Share it all, share it all, share it all. And they tell these women, I don't, I've done that video time and time. But I don't come back here, I come, they toast me, shoot your shot. Buy better can use and come toast me. I, I, I don't get sense. I will fall easily. And they fall, I can, I will fall for you. You to go. I don't know how you know you are from what I, will, I don't know what, how, what you will do. I don't know. Okay. Maybe somebody will hear, will answer you. How, you, how you have been. Okay. You said you have been told, um, you are from water and you are asking, how will you know? And what do you do? I don't know. But there are a lot of powerful lesson one is here who will teach you, who will answer your question. Because me, I will not answer that question. Okay. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Share my video so that they will confirm me. They say, she be with talk and saying again, yes. So that we go talk saying a lesbian. My name is Yoku. Please. Don't, don't try to defend me. Anything you hear about me, believe it like that. Yes, sir. I tell them I said this year, I go shock. Oh, you go shock. What no, no. Me. You see that vara? Magia by fire by force. Shoot your shot, oh. Who knows? If he if he oh we can't buy alone. We can mum titin and dark I can fall. I know get sense. As men they fear. They, they fear. Maybe women no go fear. Make sure say you got money, oh. You drop a moko gave must be rich, beautiful, flat tummy, six parts. You must be beautiful. You go get money. Eh? Hey! If I'm a jarim. Whew! I'll be easy. I'll be easy to catch you. Because no. I, hey, I don't get sense. Yo. I don't get sense. So. Eh? But the main thing is I know cheap. Eh? Shoot your shots, shoot your shots. Anything can happen. Now women are they talk to not be men, no. Men no gree shoot their shots. Women come and shoot your shots. I can fall yakata. Hurry, 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 hurry. Why the offer last? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Why the offer last? Before they rush me finish now. They rush me too much now. If you, you understand.
Lord Shannon, Lord Shannon, Lord Shannon. I want to be lost. Ask me question. Say as an idea, they look me one thirty ago. Baka kabots. No, who they laugh? You never do. They laugh never do. Idika Queen, why I'm not answering you that question? I've done a lot of videos about it, so. Answering you that question now, you're going to drag me back. I've answered, I've done a lot of videos, millions of videos about this question you asked me. So I'm not going to go back to it. Anything you have to ask me, let it be what I'm doing here. Mba, 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 no rush me, Biko. No rush me. Prince Justice, don't rush me, I beg. Now time, don't go. Now women, time now to rush me. Don't rush me. Hey, Odogum. Hey, mm, 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 mm. Before the breast go for finish, show for I love don't they come at head Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, Valentine, I beg, please. Please, I am putting it, I am serious. Valentine, eh? Make on a rush me for Valentine. Do you understand? Candle night, very wonderful place for dinner or lunch. I'm yours. Hey! Mm, 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 mm. Don't forget to send me money for Valentine wears. I gotta be sexy for you, okay? <laughs> I gotta be sexy for you, okay? Oh my God, oh my God. This is gonna be something. You understand? Don't say we love you. I don't want to we love you, Kevin. I don't want to we. Leave that we. I'm looking for a personal love, not to we love. Hey! <laughs> Bam! That's me love talking. Please, how do I get back to someone that ate my money and took me in the face and told me that there's nothing I can do? I don't know. Prince Justus, I don't know how you can get your money. A businessman or woman should know how to handle his money. I don't know, okay? Kevin, please don't love me. You are a man. I don't want man love. What I want now is a woman love. You understand? That is a love that is hungry in me for a long time. I don't want a man's love. I want a woman's love, breast to breast. You understand? I say soft and soft. Hey! I don't want any man's love, please. Don't love me. And that time don't pass. Don't love me, please. I don't like that kind of love. Me, I don't like that kind of love. As soon as bestie. I don't want. Please. I don't love. Not be to the time you say you love me. Go to my wall and talk about it. And let's talk about it. What be this Facebook all day? Me, I don't want Bessie. I don't want bestie. I don't want. That is what I'm saying. If you want to do business with somebody, put it in writing. Make sure you understand the person you are going to business with. I don't do any juju or anything to bring back your money. I don't do that, please, okay? Why am I, Mitch? Why can't you talk like this now? My spirit can't go there. I thought you want to give me better toasting. And I say I'm I'm gracing this plane with my present. Is that now? So you do toast. Choma. No, now you got to show me love. It's not by saying you love me. You got to show me love. Eh? Let's do it the way they used to do. Ask him to shoot your shot, I beg. Shoot your shot. Who knows? As I don't get sense now, falling will be easy. I don't know if you love you back. Why you never show me love now? Saying you love me is not it's, it's not enough. You gotta look, you understand? Show it to me. Love is an action. Make sure you don't have a boyfriend, though. Make sure you don't have a husband, though. And make sure for the past two years you have not had sex, though, with anybody. Uh -huh. I don't know somebody. 
Then come and toast me and go for. To avoid you killing me or me killing you, my name is Yoko. Okay, I'm going to chat me on what's on Messenger, okay? <laughs> Chai, this kind of toss in the sweet, so I love this. So. But I don't like okra. Why could they? Why could they use okra now? Why could they add it in? If we no more. How do I know? Raymond, I'm going to be so say, Please, how do? How? Please, how? No, uh, this is not a question. Please, okay. I assume you said, how do I know a lesbian? You cannot know who is a lesbian. Somebody have asked me that question. I've answered it here. You cannot know a lesbian. In most cases, you cannot know a lesbian. Because they hide it very well. They hide it very well. They cover it up very well. Okay? They cover it all very well. They hide it because of what we people say. Hey, Odogunaga. Raymond DBC said, I'm a guy, but I so much love lesbian, lesbian. People are like that. Many are like that. A lot of rich men pay two girls to make love while they watch. I wanted to know that your sexual orientation, whatever it is, is not wrong. It's not wrong. Whatever your sexual, a lot of people do it. A lot of people go for threesome. A girl would like two guys to do her once. Okay? A guy would like to do two girls once. These are sexual orientations, fantasies. Please, do what you, you feel like doing, that you are comfortable doing. Not that somebody forced you or somebody made you. Okay? What is that thing that gives you joy? So long as it's not hurting somebody. So long as it's not bringing out tears in somebody's eye. Go ahead and do it. You don't need any permission from anybody. When we limit sex to a man and a woman only, and at the same time, we are feeling more than man and a woman, we are simply saying that God is not enough. God made a mistake. God didn't create. And that is what the society, tradition and culture and religion is talking about. So if a man loves a man, it is an abomination. God is not a fool to have created that. So you are saying that God shouldn't, God didn't see that. Or God is not a, it doesn't see far to know that something is going to happen, to know that this person is going to do this. So they try to twist God in a box, twist God and put God in a box to suit them to their own tiny brain. Oh my God. Oh my God. Idika Queen. I love you so much for that. I love you so much for that. They try to combat tradition and culture. They try to combat awakening. They try to combat being a native doctor with their, you no, know, if their brain is this size, they will combat tradition and culture or religion or whatever into this thing and tell you, God doesn't like this. God like this. God doesn't like this. How can God mind be as tiny as they are does it make sense to you no you don't dress this way god doesn't like children of god dressing this way did god create clothes with you no you don't speak this way god doesn't like people fixing putting artificial on their body is this cloth not artificial why don't we all go naked after all we weren't created with any clothes please why don't we all go naked the world will be a better place. We'll just be naked, walking front and back. Everybody will just be naked. It will be a massive, wonderful world. Oh, no, God doesn't like artificial. All this is artificial. I wanted to ask your pastor, is the phone he's having in his hands, or their hands, is it, is it, is it not artificial? The electronic gadgets, the cars, the mansions, the school and hotels they have, is it not artificial? God doesn't like artificial. But they can afford to wear a suit of 500,000, 1 million, and where you are still buying Bendan Select. Are these things not artificial? So that I can pierce my ears and, and draw tattoos all over my body is artificial. But the Bible they have in their hand is not artificial. The clothes they wear, the shoes they put on is not artificial. Please think now. Think now. Let us think. Let us just add all the artificial. 
watching television, living like the Oyibo people. Is it not official? Using microphone to sit to preach. Eh, you pastors being on social, all those things are they not official? Was it God that created the uh, Facebook? Please ask me your questions, okay? I'll be going off online soon. A man should not wear what a woman is wearing. A woman should not wear what a man is wearing. So when a woman wears trousers, it's evil, and now everybody's accepting it. So when a man decided to wear skirt and blouse, it's become abomination. How is it abomination? But I'm wearing what a man is wearing. So if men decided to be wearing dress, but Risky is wearing clothes, so he has become an abomination, right? But if I'm wearing trousers, okay? Suit, pants suit, so it's not an abomination. I beg, make you not teach me now. I don't want to be who be. I don't want to call it. It'll be as he gets. It's an abomination in Igbo land. Destroying girls' life is not an abomination. Refusing to help your brother, allowing your brother to die in pain and shame and ridicule is not an abomination. Refusing to help your own sister, your own brother, but you carry money and give to church. Is that not an abomination? Refusing to settle a boy that serve you and you call him a thief, not a criminal, is not an abomination. Doing business with your brother and your sister. Eh? Your fellow man. And the, the money you're supposed to share with him, you squindle it. Is it not an abomination? So it's only being a gay, being a homosexual that is an abomination. And I watched some videos where some people are beating them up. Beating them for what? Videoing them, posting them on social media. It's an abomination in Igbo land. What the problem? It's okay. But believe you me, one day this government will sign into bill. Whether you like it or not. They don't want to sign it into bill because that is what they are doing. A lot of our politicians, that is what they do. They will not sign into bill. But one day it will happen. And you will be alive to see it happen. A lot of African nations are signing it into law. Why most of you are not signing? Not because Nigeria is a Christian now, God faithful country. It's because a lot of people are liars, living fake life. And calling on God, preaching every day. Anyways, I believe nobody's asking me any question. Please, if you watch this video later, you ask me a question, I'm not going to answer you. Come to my inbox and ask me a question, I'm not going to answer you, okay? Okay, so this is part one of sexual orientation in all ramification, all corner, all round. Can a non-gay non marry a lesbian? I am still telling you that you don't know who is a lesbian. Please, when I'm through, rewatch this video again. This question you're asking me now, I've talked about it. I've talked about it. What you ask me now, I've talked about it. As soon as I go offline, go back and rewatch this video. He said, can a non-gay marry a lesbian? How do you know a lesbian? You asked me, how do you know a lesbian? I said, you can never know who is a lesbian. You cannot know. They won't come out and tell you I am. Watch this video again, Raymond. I have talked about what you just asked me now. All right, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. My teachings is not to make you happy. It's not to make you understand what I'm saying. It's to open up the portal, the door, the cupboard that you hid inside of yourself so that you can take a critical look at yourself and question yourself and question your existence and question who you are so that you understand why you are going through what you are going through. You understand why you have disappointments, why things doesn't move this way, so that you understand why hatred comes to you. 
That is what all my teachings does. To make you understand, instead of whining, whining, crying, complaining, 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 spending the little money you have. Thank you so much, my queen. Spending the little money you have in nothing. Please. It will make you re-examine re your life. So that you will not be blaming the wrong people, accusing the wrong people of not doing this for you and to you. If you are here to be a helper to people, you are going to battle with rejection, hatred. You are going to battle with poverty. Poverty will, will dodge every of your footsteps, will become your companion. Whatever you are going, you are going through here on earth is telling you why you are here on earth. Whatever it is you are going through right now is teaching you why you are here. If you are here to make men and women kings and queens and remind them who they are to start your job, you are going to have to battle with gossip, misunderstand, misunderstood, talking against you, gossiping against you, maligning you, trolling you, especially those who have help to know where they are going. Until we begin to examine ourselves and re-examine and re-examine and re-examine ourselves continuously, this pain will be with us forever. This shame and ridicule will be with us forever. Until we, un we understand, you'll just be jumping from one place to the other, spending the little money you have, looking for answers out there that doesn't exist out there. Every answer you need is inside of you. It's in the hands of your guardian angels, and the angel goes in and the angel goes. Until we begin to turn our eyes inward and find out where we hid the answers in our DNA, in our blueprints, we will never be happy on this earth. Try as much as possible to understand yourself, to understand yourself, not to go to where somebody will teach you about yourself. And when you said, somebody said, I'm from water, it means you can never know who you are. You were just lying to yourself, pretending you to yourself, going somewhere for somebody to tell you who you are. You can never grow. You can never grow. It's just like somebody that is happy because somebody said you are such a beautiful girl or you are so handsome. You rely on the praise and worship for people to have confidence in yourself. They said I'm from water. They say I'm a great person. They say I am. They say, they say. And I ask you today, who are you? Don't tell me what they say, please. I don't want to know. Because anybody can say anything to you to make you happy. After all, you paid money for consultation. You paid money for Iba Afa. So Afa will tell you what you want to hear. As at that time. And when you go home two, three days later, you start looking for another person who will tell you. One week later, you carry your money and go to another person who will tell you. Why? Because deep down you know you have not heard what you want to hear. That is why... In a month or two or in a year, you have gone to over 50 places for consultation after. Because I said, where do you want to hear? Nobody is your housemaid. Nobody is your servant. Nobody come here to tell you who you are. Because nobody came here with you. Stop causing yourself shame and pain and ridicule. Stop expecting. Stop breaking your own hearts. Stop it. Stop it. Money is you. Thank you so much.